Well, universe, it's time to take the blindfolds off and see the light. Universe, and welcome back to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to Comic Universe, guys. I'm one of your hosts, as always, C-Dubs, and I'm riding solo on this video, guys. And I am glad to be back. I don't know into what capacity I am back for you guys, but I am here doing the best I can with what I got. And what I got is some pretty big news. So earlier today, some leaked photos that kind of made their way onto the gram, if you will, showed what the instant classic hit, Bird Box from Netflix, Sandra Bullock's Bird Box, you know, the blindfold movie that people can't make up their mind, whether it's uh, ingenious and a masterpiece or it's just utter crap. Uh, so on the Instagram, we got a look at what the creatures, I should say a particular creature, look like. So within the film, we all kind of get the gist that the creatures themselves are kind of manifesting different views because we kind of see the drawings, if you will, on the nightstand once they bring in the last um, recruit, our last survivor, I should say, that turns out to be one of the druids for the creatures, if you will. And there is a big difference between this book and the actual movie, if you will. In the book, we get some descriptions of what they see and stuff like that, and um, certain characters die in the, in the actual book that don't die, and certain things, and... and angst that actually happened within the book don't translate over to the actual film because the director she just wasn't comfortable with making a horror movie she just wanted to make a suspense thriller and uh you know for better or for worse i already given my review you can find it here on the channel in fact i'll link it here at the end um i did genuinely like it i don't think it was just like amazing but i did like the movie to be honest with you but we get to see with one of the scenes that was cut from the film what the creature was actually showing, Sandra Bullock in this case. It was a, an infant, if you will, uh, that was taunting her, trying to get her to actually look at it. And we, the audience, was going to be able to actually see what it looked like. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad they cut it, and I'm kind of glad that this this actual image isn't on Instagram anymore. They actually took it down. Um, it was a creature that was created by uh, KNB Effects, um, and their work seems to be pretty good. I looked it up on. I looked some of, up some of their work online. They they know what they're doing. But this particular creature that they created, this baby infant that you guys can see here, was just kind of more of a miss than a hit, if you ask me. And to be honest, I think the film, for better or for worse, did do justice not giving us at least this particular creature or this particular vision from the creatures uh it you know from reading the article itself which i found this uh image from you know the, the cast was having a hard time actually um acting in front of it they kept on laughing because they felt that it looked really goofy and in fact the uh, the director actually said this uh baby actually looked like oswald cobblepot basically it was what she envisioned oswald cobblepot as we all know with the penguin when he was a child, what he would have looked like. Um, I don't really see that in this image, but I do see that it is not really all that intimidating. It is kind of goofy looking. Um, it does resemble a child, so in that aspect of things, they did hit their mark. Um, it, I just got to say that overall, the aesthetics, you know, I'm kind of glad it wasn't there. Now, I do wish that, again, in the film, we did get to see what other people saw or at least what they actually look like, maybe through the spoiler alert here and through the cameras you know maybe that could have been a cool way to show us um or maybe if you know one of them got doused with powder or dust or something dirt and you we at least saw the outline of them something just give us a little bit um to be honest this movie is a as a grand slam for netflix it has been killing it for them um so there is always a chance that there's a sequel even though i know there's no source material for that um but Money talks and BS walks, as we all know, in the industry. So if Netflix feels like they can get away with a sequel, they'll be it'll be coming. And I think, to be honest, when we get the sequel to A Quiet Place, because this is a lot like that, it's definitely in the same vein, um, I'm sure they'll be like, you know what, they did it again, they had another home run, let's go ahead and let's, you know, make our sequel. 
Um, and another thing that I hope that this film, just to quickly want to touch on, uh, I hope that this film has breathed a breath of fresh air into some classic H.P. Lovecraft horror inspirations because this is clearly in that H.P. Lovecraft vein. If there ever was a movie, this one definitely is in it because most of the creatures in H.P. Lovecraft, you can't look at them for the fear of going absolutely batshit crazy. So totally insane and, and just losing your mind just from the sheer sight of their grotesque and ambience, you know, you just, you can't do it. Um, even though they have thousands of, of followers and druids and cults that, that, you know, follow, for instance, like Cthulhu, but in the, you know, in the source material, if we actually laid the eyes on Cthulhu, that would be it for us. We would just go blank. It would just, we would basically be brain dead and batshit crazy. So again, I hope that this inspires some of that H.P. Lovecraft horror mythos. And we get some movies that kind of come out in that like space, godly, distorted, demon looking creatures and i just hope that we get some good practical special effects and and i know cg will be there too and hopefully the cg will live up to expectations but hopefully in the future we get the, a slew of these type of films where we're just dealing with something beyond comprehension and hopefully they let us see what it looks like if you will anyway universe that's my two cents on the matter that's what the image looks like of what we would have gotten in the film let us know in the comments below. Are you guys glad that we got nothing compared to this? Would you have liked something else? Do you think that maybe through the either, like I mentioned, through the camera or maybe, again, with doused with powder or something just to get the, the, the shape of the creature? Do you think that would have been a good idea? Let us know in the comments below, guys. Don't forget to give that thumbs up like button a big thumb, thumbs up. Like it, like it, like it. If you can like it a thousand times, I wish you would. But just one like if you like what we're doing here, guys. If not... Give us a thumbs down. That works too. But let us know in the comments below why you gave this video a thumbs down. This way we can improve is all that we ask. And guys, if you haven't subscribed already, we do all kinds of videos. If this is the first video you're stumbling upon, we do all kinds of different videos here at Comic Universe. We do everything from comic reviews and movie reviews, TV reviews. Um, we do all kinds of fan fiction theories and, and conspiracy theories amongst uh, nerd culture. We basically cover everything pop and nerd culture, guys. So... Uh, you know, feel free, subscribe, guys, click that notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video, guys, and you'd never miss out on one of our lovely morsels, if you will. And guys, until next time, I'm C-Dubs, and I'll see you in the universe. Peace.